we're going to look at Juan Martin Del Potro. He is 6'6", weighing around 214 pounds. His average tennis speed is 240 kilometers an hour. So he's coiling his legs around account with the racket speed. And he hits the ball, makes it into the service box, allowing the opponent less time to react than usual. Because the ball itself turns into a projectile after leaving his racket. Yeah. Here's Usain Bolt, the world's fastest man. So he's storing energy, potential energy. He hears the gunshot, and potential energy turns into kinetic energy, and adrenaline causes him to go. So he is sprinting towards the finish line at 12.3 meters per second. He beats the world record and got 9.58 seconds of a run. And he won and became a go and won a gold medal as a result. Now we are going to look at 250 pound football players. So they're trying to score, but trying to defend. Like, like you see that guy got punched because, because as they keep accelerating, they drop abruptly like that because acceleration becomes deceleration. Because the average tackle force for each football player is around 650 newtons. Like seriously, I can't even imagine that. Like seriously, it's like a boom. see some fabulous dunks so you saw him the guy in the white he used the friction to jump from the ground he's trying to oppose force Newton's third law being acted upon and the jump he did is caused by his vertical lift which is caused by his launch velocity and even though gra and then as he falls back down gravity is affected This Arizona Suns player, Horan, so he's trying to do displacement as he's moving back and forth and trying to choose a path. He shoots for the three and he makes it because this is due to him throwing the trail of the ball goes in a parabola because, because the ball causes enough momentum and on the top there's no momentum, no velocity initial. So, but it falls back down 9.8 meters per second. And Ricky Hatton. Their fight was in 2009. So we see that their uh, Manny Pacquiao's footwork supports his base, has a base of support, and he also has a wide stance. The radius helps him helps him fight. And every time Hatton throws out a punch, he he has a quick reaction. And as soon as he hit him, him Ricky Hatton missed. <laughs> clip of the Pacquiao fight. So we see Pacquiao and Hatton face off again in round two. So at this point, as he dodges, there's 10 seconds left. That punch right there. Take a look again. Manny Pacquiao's left hook causes boom. That cause uh, the that is equivalent to the size and the weight of a sledgehammer hitting him to the ground.